Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm an adult doll collector. So today I'm doing an unboxing video. This is going to be an unboxing of my first alternative reborn. I am so excited. So I opened the box and completely took the contents out exactly as it was and put here where I'm going to be filming this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get started guys. So you are seeing this for the first time with me. So this does still include the packaging. So looking at what we are seeing here, this is kind of giving us some hints of probably the type of alternative reborn uh, this includes. This is really, really cute. There's some balloons, there's some packages, there's paperwork. I'm gonna move these aside, guys. If you are new to my channel, I always unbox baby first and reveal baby, and then I open goodies. It's just funner for me because for me, I buy the doll and I want to see the doll first. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move these goodies aside. Okay. So I removed all the outer packaging because we don't need all that. And I didn't know it was included. I didn't really kind of want to spoil what was in there. I did buy this directly from the artist on reborns.com. Uh, there is some little charms included here. That's cute. I'm going to put that on my keychain. The blanket is cute and appropriate for the dolly. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, sneak peek there. <laughs> what do you guys think this is? She's a clown. Look at her. <laughs> what a cutie pie. I am not into horror dolls or, you know, that kind of genre just because I get freaked out by creepy things. And uh, I can't be freaked out by a doll. Now, clowns don't freak me out as long as they're not evil looking. And as you can see, she is super duper sweet. She's got a cute little smile. This is a bountiful baby sculpt. And I, I thought it was kind of odd in the placement of the ears of how the sculptor put the ears. But uh, again, it is a clown. So, you know, it is kind of a... The, the sculpt is actually a clown. So the painting on her face is super cute and happy. I'm going to take this collar off, which I think it's actually like a little skirt, but her hair is painted. So what I really liked about this clown guys, and I've seen lots and lots of different clowns and there is an artist actually nearby where I live and she's pretty popular out there. I cannot think of the name of it. Um, but she does some really beautiful alternative, especially clown reborns. And I've been wanting one of her dolls for a really long time. Uh, they're just for somebody that doesn't collect alternative reborns. You know, I wasn't prepared to spend what her price range was, even though it's be they're beautiful. So I saw this sweetheart, I don't know, about a week, a week or so ago. And I really, really liked her. Now, I did not realize this, you guys. This is so super cool. This sculpt, and I'll tell you the name of her in a minute. I, I, can't, I, don't, I can't remember it. But the shoes are part of the sculpt. So the artist just needed to paint them. Isn't that awesome? I didn't realize that. That is so super cool. And I did not do a shopping haul. I, I usually do do shopping hauls for my, my dollies. But I did it this time because I really couldn't find a lot of cute clown outfits and the ones that I did they were kind of large all right so here's her information guys because I couldn't remember it for the life of me she is the topsy kit from bountiful baby the artist is Anna Paulson from Mia Moore Reborn Nursery she's 5.2 pounds and 21 inches so this doll would wear around the newborn size maybe zero to three at largest it was really a delight buying from Anna she is super duper sweet sent me um, a message right away she sent me a thank you card and she just basically says that the clown was so much fun to paint. I love the little clown shoes. I do too. I think they're awesome. And uh, the adorable painted face. Yeah, she's right. What a nice card. Very sweet. Thank you, Anna. God bless you too. So sweet. She did include also some reborn care instructions from her nursery. So much fun buying direct from artists. You know, when I resell my dolls, guys, I always include all artist originals. And what that means to me is their box openings and all of their paperwork. And it's tough sometimes because not all collectors resell their, their reborns that way. 
Um, she does have a business card, which is really cute. Oh, I forgot you guys. I didn't even show her little hands and stuff. She's really painted super cute. So um, she does have a veining and modeling. Uh, so she is painted like a real baby, right? That's dressed up. This is what I love about how this Reborn was painted. So, you know, I, I think I showed you this heart on her cheek. Um, it looks like, you know, she's a real baby, but she's painted like a clown. She does have her little nails painted in different colors. And it looks like uh, she got her little hand painted. Really, really cute. I was thinking of like getting a birthday outfit for her because you know, like it's her birthday and you know, she, maybe it's like her birthday party and she's dressed up like a clown and she got her face painted. I kind of was like, if you guys know me, I'm huge on themes, but the fact that she came, you know, with the way that I saw her dressed and painted, I didn't really feel the need to buy anything for her. I'm opening up the first bag of package in, in here. And, um, oh, she does come with a little passy and that's super cute. She came with a really super bright hippo plush. How cute. Oh my God. That is so cute. Everything's really cute. Okay, so I'm going to open up this package now. Everything's wrapped really cute with ribbon. So fun. What a fun box opening, you guys. This is literally like a party in a box. I swear. I'm opening a party in a box. She sent her with... How cute a rainbow onesie, a couple of rainbow onesies, which is perfect for this baby girl because, um, you know, she's a clown and she needs a really fun, bright wardrobe. I love it. And then a couple of diapers. So I'll set that stuff there for now. It looks like she may have added some detail to her mittens, like this little ruffle layer. This is really cute. Really thought out details, adorable. Now, now I'm opening up this package and I think I know what this is. This was such a cool Reborn, you guys. I really feel like I hit the jackpot on this little Reborn. I'm pretty picky. I'm really, really picky with the dolls I buy. They've gotta be really pretty in the face. They've gotta be painted. I mean, we all have different tastes out there. I'm not gonna say I have better taste than somebody else, but you know, I do pride myself on my taste. I think I have pretty good taste. So she came with this hat and the artist, Anna, actually made this hat. Isn't this adorable? So it's a, a, a top hat and then she glued hair in it to give it a, uh, a different look. I do not know if this will fully fit in the frame with how big this hat is, but look at that. Isn't that adorable, you guys? She is so cute. What a sweetheart. Oh, she's she's funny and cute. What a joy. If you guys are new to my channel, I do have 14-year-old uh, twins. And my family is not really the biggest fans of my doll collection, although they're happy for me that I have a hobby. <laughs> but uh, they don't love my dolls. You know, I don't know how well this doll is going to be received. <laughs> because it's a clown, right? And there's just this stigma with clowns, right? There's her top hat. So that's how it looks. <laughs> she's really cute. What a fun little girl. Ah, she's fun. So yeah, so she does have uh, rooted red eyelashes as well. And that looks perfect with her little top hat, with the hair. I really like this now. I really enjoyed her painted hair. I thought it was really beautifully well done. So I thought, you know, as when I get her, I probably won't display her with this hat, but now that it's on her, I really, really like it. Um, everything's so cute and coordinated. I really, I'm really enjoying this. Look how cute. So underneath her skirt, there is some bloomers and she's wearing a onesie where she adorned it with these cute little balls. This is just stinking cute. So I have, um, one top I think I might want to change her into. I can feel that she has, and I think I remember from her description, she has three quarter arms. These are considered three quarter legs, right? So um, I have a onesie that I had custom made and it's nothing big. I mean, I, I custom made it. I basically bought a decal at Hobby Lobby with a unicorn on it. And it has these primary colors on it. And I think I want to put her in it so we can see um, her hands a little bit better. Um, although her outfit's perfect i don't feel the need to change it if you guys have been on my channel you guys know 
I like to change all my dolls. It's just something that I do. It's one of the things I do. I usually do a shopping haul and I change my dolls. I want to go find that onesie and I will be back. I went ahead and found the onesie I was talking about. I, again, made this extremely early in my collecting. Again, because I wanna show how cute her little hand-painted details are. So I wanna put a, a, a shorter sleeve onesie on her. And the colors look great. Look, all of the colors match. There's even hearts here that are hearts on her shoes. So stinking cute. This is such a fun reborn oh my goodness again Anna does paint regular reborns as well and I just wanted to show you the the quality of her hair and how pretty um, her her painted hair is the her human reborn hair and the details like of her skin she's really a sweetheart she smells delicious too so I'm not gonna fully dress her down because I just want to go ahead and get her out of this and I wanna just change her top. I'm not changing her bottoms. Anna mentioned in her post, in her listing, that she would have probably weighted her, or made her, I think, a little bit more floppy, like her head weighted it with her reborns that are like newborn size. But because she's a clown and for posing, she didn't, which I'm thankful for because I typically, now that I've been collecting for a while, I don't buy dolls this size anymore. In fact, the couple that I have left, I want to sell. Um, I just don't like dressing very small dolls. They're harder to find clothes for. Um, and I like doing more, I don't know, kind of more adventurous type outfits. I mean, right now I'm in a super dressy phase, but typically, you know, like I'm not into like the super newborn outfits that are out there, you know, which I kind of talked about in my last video. I'm not into the cozy look. Larger dolls work out better. Her shoes, I am so thankful. She even painted details like the shoes have been worn at the bottom. Look at that, doesn't that look great? Like I literally thought in this listing that she had found some baby vintage clown shoes and that she had, that's what was on this doll. I didn't realize the sculpt came with little built on shoes that is so cute super cute gosh she smells good now her other shirt was adorable and i loved the handmade little details that anna had added to it but just again this is such awesome detailing that she did and then there is the inside of her hands and then the creasing and then this way we can see her the, the details on her arms i mean that is adorable you guys look at that <laughs> That is so stinking cute. She is happy as she can be with that sweet smile. She's so cute with her painted hair. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to pose her with a hat, but it's so cute and I really like how it was handmade and the hair is glued in. At first, before I had read this, the description, I thought she gave an option with a wig. And then I read the description and she creatively glued hair inside of a handmade hat. So creative to give uh, the doll a different look. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I love this. Oh my gosh, I love her. Isn't she adorable, you guys? Stinking cute. And add some of these fun little details back in. I mean, I just love the little detailing of the rainbow dots. It just looks like a baby with her face painted. It's so stinking cute. Now, I'm not gonna put her passy on for good, but I just wanted to try it, see how she looks with a passy, cause she's really, really cute. Oh, she's so cute with a passy. This is such a stinking cute sculpt, you guys. Well done, very well done. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take that off. Um, but that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share my sweet little first alternative reborn, a reborn clown, little Topsy. I'll probably keep her name. I mean, it's kind of appropriate with that long hat she's got. Little Topsy Bopsy, so fun and so cute. Thank you for joining me today and sharing this experience of me unboxing my first uh, alternative reborn. I'm so happy, yay! But anyway, thanks again, you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care.